Marvel Legends, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Cassie Langwave, Ultron. Let's get it. What's good, my peeps? The Ruck is back at you again with another action figure review. This time, we're continuing our run through the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania Cassie Lang wave. We're into the comic base figures. What we got before us is Ultron. Yes, indeed. This is a uh, basically a re-release, and uh, the only thing different is the uh, is the uh, head sculpt quite frankly in terms of the body and uh, of course the uh, the paint application will be slightly different we'll check that out when we get to it right now looking at that packaging you've got the digital render of the figure Ultron on the front behind it is some artwork of Ultron you've got Marvel down there at the bottom and Ultron at the top since this is a uh, a comic based figure there is no reference to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania at all on one side of the packaging the left side or its right side actually we've got a digital render of Cassie Lang the builder figure and of course all of the parts that are necessary to build her Ultron is number three there's seven figures in the wave only six are required to build Cassie Lang the seventh figure or the first, if you will, depending on which direction you're going in, being Scott Lang, a.k.a. Ant-Man, does not come with a build -a figure piece and is two per case. On the flip side, we've got some nice artwork of Ultron. On the top, we have the Marvel logo. And in the rear, we have another digital render of the figure. And on our left, we see the build -a figure pieces that uh, come with Ultron to... Uh, put uh, Cassie Lang together that'll be a left arm and an extra hand as well and on the right we have Ultron's accessories he comes with three three hands one pair and an additional left hand and a crackle effect so we've got Ultron on our rotating base you get the 360 degree visual of the figure and uh, of course it's a robot so you're not going to get uh, too crazy with the paint apps you got this uh, silvery finish and uh, the one difference between this particular uh, Ultron and the previous uh, iteration of it which was from the uh, Iron Man Ursa Major wave are the uh, the paint deco this has a different uh, color silver and the head sculpt is different we'll check that out when we uh, when we go over the figure a little bit more Ultron comes with the left arm to build Cassie Lang, as uh, was previously stated. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just put it to the side. And, uh, you know, when it's time to build Cassie, we'll get to it. Ultron also comes with an additional hand for Cassie, which is cool because we rarely get extra stuff with the builder figures, but we get an extra hand. This is a kind of a grasping hand. So we'll set this aside as well. Ultron's accessories comprise an additional close-fisted left hand which matches the uh, close-fisted right hand that he came with out of packaging as well as an additional pair of hands basically C grippers and Ultron also comes with this crackle effect it's similar to what we received before but not quite it's a little bit different in design uh, uh, in terms of the color and they put the uh, the black uh, the black spots bubbles if you will whereas the original one was a was a fluorescent red and yellow taking a look at the head sculpt you see it's the silver and uh, what's uh, basically different with this head sculpt uh, as opposed to the original is that we get uh, energy kind of like an energy effect paint app inside the mouth and uh, the eyes are of just a slight different shade of red but uh, other than that uh, there is a little bit of difference in the design of the helmet of the head I should say I'll bring in the head of the uh, 
the first version and uh, you could see the differences there uh, the uh, antlers if you will antennae are a little bit thicker on the uh, the first version and you can see in the mouth the mouth is just totally plain with no uh, crackle effects and as I stated with the eyes the uh, eyes are um, a, a different shade of red and the, the eye slits are a bit different than our uh, Ant-Man or Cassie Lang wave version so those are the differences that you can see also the top the top of the uh, head on the Ursa Major version has uh, I'll classify them as divots whereas the Ultron version or not the Ultron version but the Cassie Lang version is uh, just clean and now to compare the entire bodies of the uh, both versions on our left we have our Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania Cassie Lang wave version and on the right we have the Iron Man Ursa Major wave version and as you could see the differences are in the uh, the paint decos the uh, the Ursa Major wave version is a lighter silver whereas uh, the uh, the Cassie Lang version is um, it's a darker silver and for me I don't know how you guys feel but it seems more uh, plasticky to me and uh, there is more evidence of uh, marbling on the Cassie Lang version and uh, yeah that's not really a cool look but it is what it is uh, you see the other difference you see that the Cassie Lang version is holding the crackle effect in its hand its right hand whereas the uh, Ursa Major version the crackling effect is coming out of Ultron's mouth as it's uh, it, that's what it was meant for initially because a lot of times Ultron is uh, illustrated showing that effect but you can't fit the crackle effect in the Cassie Lang version because of that uh, that addition of the crackle effect to the mouth that it, it leaves no room to stick the uh, the crackle effect in and you can uh, see the differences between the crackle effects and here they are close up so you can see the difference for real the uh, one on our left side is the crackle effect that came with the Cassie Lang version so you see what I was talking about with the uh, the dark bubbles and uh, the uh, red fluorescent red whereas the uh, Ursa Major is the uh, you know fiery red with the yellow to give it more of an energetic kind of look a fiery look whereas the uh, Cassie Lang version is more of a energy effect style look I want to show you guys some of the marbleization that I was talking about before we get into the articulation so I'll try to move it up a little bit you see some like this line that's going there that's uh, that's yeah that's not very pretty and then look at the legs you've got uh, lines like going right through the legs there you don't get that same thing going with the original at all so yeah not not a good look it is what it is I guess but in terms of articulation since we've never uh, had a uh, Ultron review before I um, had uh, decided I had refrained from reviewing the Ursa Major Wave a couple years ago because I figured I was late to the party so what was the point but I get to review Ultron now so here we go head is on a uh, ball hinge so he can look up that far he can look down that far you get very you know some tilt there and of course you can 360 it shoulders he can get 90 degrees going out that shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder so you get 360 with no impedance at all we've got the uh, bicep swivel there he's got double jointed pinless elbows which is great because as a robot that gives it a nice seamless look he's got the rotating wrist hinge and it hinges horizontally all four hands or five hands excuse me hinge uh, horizontally his uh, diaphragm crunch gets him going forward just that much 
can go back that much and he has a waist swivel so he can 360 that way legs he can do the splits that far out he can get his leg that far forward 90 degrees that much back he's got the thigh cut double jointed pinless knees gotta love that once again that seamless look he can put his toe forward like that like a ballerina he's looking like and get his toe that far up he's got the ankle pivot and you know what it is no holes <laughs> on the bottom of his feet he has uh, what appears to be like uh, engine turbines for flying down there and final thing as I pulled Ultron away getting prepared for the next segment I noticed that he does have articulation where the uh, the calf and we'll call it the ankle meet so you do get rotation there so just trying to be thorough and here we have for comparisons the various iterations of Ultron throughout the years we have on our far left we've got uh, Ultron from the three pack the Avengers three pack it was a Target exclusive back in the day I believe it came with it came with uh, Carol Danvers Warbird aka Miss Marvel and it also came with I believe White Vision if I'm not mistaken and then uh, behind it we've got the uh, Toy Biz version of Ultron I don't even know what they were thinking when they uh, came up with this design I've never seen that design for Ultron in the comics before but that was from the Legendary Rider series back in the day no build a figure and then uh, moving all the way to the far right we have Ultron from the Iron Man Iron Monger wave which was a wave that came out just prior to Hasbro shift into the infinite series platform style of uh, packaging and behind him or it is the lone non Hasbro Marvel Legends figure and that is the Marvel Select Ultron which was up until we got the Ursa Major Wave version considered the best Ultron and is still arguably so to this day. You can go back and forth between uh, the Ursa Major slash the Cassie Lang version and the Marvel Select version. Marvel Select version is definitely taller and um, I had actually preferred the uh, the uh, Marvel Select version because of its height because there was a time for a short period of time one of the iterations of Ultron in the comics he was about seven feet tall but uh, that height has been brought back down to normal so Ultron is about six foot even if I recall my uh, my stats so um, that would make this Ultron a little bit too tall but of course when you're dealing with Ultron it is a robot he can just go from body to body and have different variations for an Ultron army. The only Ultron I don't have is the gold Marvel Unlimited version of the Ironmonger uh, Ultron. It was the same exact uh, figure only it was gold. So that's the only Ultron I do not have and saying I do not have something is quite the rarity for me when it comes to Marvel Legends. So here we have all four figures that we've reviewed for this wave so far, we've got on our left, Kang the Conqueror. In the middle behind Ultron, we've got o Van Dyne, aka the Wasp. And then, of course, on the right, we've got Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man. And uh, those three figures comprise the MCU versions of characters that we've got in this wave. There are four MCU characters in this wave, if you include Cassie Lang, the Builder figure. And uh, we've got Ultron here, comic base figure. It's a, uh, a, a re-release, redo, if you will, the head sculpt. Head sculpt is banging with the crackle effect. Uh, I wish that Hasbro could have found a way to give us that crackle effect in the mouth and still have it uh, recessed enough to put the crackle effect accessory in that mouth like in the original version. But I guess uh, as a... Uh, as, as a uh, runner-up prize or consolation prize whatever they gave us five hands two pair and one separate hand so we've got a pair of fists we have a pair of uh, C-grip hands and we have an open 
uh, reaching hand, if you will, the the reaching hand and one of the fists, the uh, the reaching hand and the right fist are what came out of packaging. Uh, it's a different color, a different color silver than the Ursa Major Wave version. It's got uh, it's got uh, some marbling on it that uh, kind of sort of detracts from the figure overall. And it's a darker silver than the Ursa Major version, and I think it looks more plastic than the Ursa Major version. I prefer the Ursa Major version's color. Uh, I do prefer this skull, this head sculpt, even though I wish it were recessed so we could put the crackle effect in the mouth. So uh, you've got plus and minuses for both, so if you missed out on the Ursa Major version, you can get this version here from uh, the Cassie Lang Wave, and uh, that is how it's done.